Hi there, welcome back. This time, we are going to improve the raindrops effect and create a seamless water dripping animation for longer clips. Instead of repeating the same dripping animation that causes abrupt cuts in the middle, the water will keep dripping off the screen without interruption regardless how long it runs, just like we see in the real world. If you haven't seen the previous video before, you can click the link up here on the screen, or through the link in the description below, to check how the effect is created in DaVinci Resolve. Today we will focus on making the displacement map for the long dripping water streaks, to achieve a continuous animation effect if we need it to run for longer than 5 seconds. With the new displacement map we're going to make today, the performance has also been greatly improved, it is now very practical to apply the effect on 4K videos. Here is a 5 second image clip with the raindrops template applied. Play the clip and it looks very good. But when we extend the duration, let's say, to 10 seconds. Wait for the render cache and play it again. Now we see in the middle, the water drippings suddenly stopped and started over the same dripping pattern from the beginning. We can slow down the dripping to avoid the cutoff, and it works okay for clips of 10 seconds or 20 seconds. But for longer clips, the dripping may become too slow and not usable. This is the clip we used last time for the raindrops effect tutorial. It gets this cutoff in the middle. We will use it as the base comp for today and create a new dripping map to replace the old one. Go to the Fusion page. These nodes are the ones used to create the dripping pattern. The idea of making a dripping effect is to generate some random positioned white dots on the screen and using light rays to render the trails. Last time, we used the duplicate node and the jitter settings to generate the dots. Keyframe the dot position to mimic the water dripping down. But in this case it restarts the animation, which breaks the continuity of the water dripping down. To achieve a continuous animation effect, one option is using the particle tool, because it emits particles constantly and randomly, which will ensure the continuity and irregularity. Delete the first three nodes from the editor, we will keep the rest nodes of the comp. Add a particle emitter node and particle render node from the toolbar. Connect to the light ray node. Bring the render node into the viewer to check the particle output. Change the pre-generate frames to 100 so that we will start with some pre-generated particles. Select the emitter node. Change the region to rectangle. Set the width to 1. Move the region out of the screen from the top because we want the particles coming down to simulate water dripping. Change the style to blob. Set the size to 1. Variance to 2. Go to the Controls tab. Set number to 0 0.1. Increase the lifespan to 1000. We want to make sure the particles can get to the bottom before reaching their lifespans. Add a bit of velocity and variance. Change the angle to minus 90, which is going downwards. Now we have some random blobs coming down continuously. Bring the light rays into the viewer. And we notice that the lines disappear all of sudden when they reach the bottom. That's because the light ray effect only works on visible objects on the screen. To resolve this, we will extend the height of the particle working area, so that it can produce light rays even though the dots are out of the final result view. Add a background node to the editor. 
Merge the light rays node with the background. Connect the new merge node to displace node. Select the render node in the image tab. Uncheck the auto resolution option. Modify the width and height with simple expressions. Link to the width and height of the background node. This will ensure the working area matches the width of the comp resolution, but with the height doubled. Move the emitter region out of the screen. Select this new merge node. Bring into the viewer. Move down the output of the light rays to a light with the top of the screen. Bring the Media Out node into the viewer. Play the clip. This looks pretty good. And there is no more dripping restart in the middle of the clip. Another option is to use the Fast Noise node, which is my preferred method. Fast noise is a very versatile and powerful tool for making a wide range of visual effects and animations. And it is also very fast. Similar to what we did earlier, delete the first three nodes. Add a fast noise node to the editor. Show the fast noise result in the viewer. Change the color type to gradient. Move the black color to the right and close to the white color, around 0.9. Set the alpha to zero, so it turns transparent. Move the white color a little bit to the left, at 0.91. In the Noise tab, set the detail to 1. Increase the brightness to 0.3. Scale up to 10. We now have created some random white dots. They look a bit blurry. Go to the color tab, move the white color a tiny bit to the left. OK, this is good. To animate these dots like water drips, we can keyframe the noise center Y parameter. Instead of keyframing the parameter, we can modify the center with the XY path. Go to the Modifiers tab, remove the default XY path. Modify Y with Anim Curves. This will animate the Y parameter automatically as we play the clip. But they are rising up, not going down. Go to the Anim Curve section, check the Invert option. Now they are moving down. We can also easily adjust the animation speed by changing the scale. Increase the value to run the animation faster. Or decrease to slow down. Link the fast noise to the light rays node. Bring the media out into the viewer. We now have the water drips running through the entire duration, without interruption in the middle. But there are two things that need improvement. First one is like in the particle solution, the dripping lines shut off completely as soon as they pass the bottom line. This can be resolved by extending the noise working area, like we did earlier. Add a background node. Merge the light rays node. Connect the merge output to the displace node. Select the fast noise node, modify the image dimension with simple expressions. As we did earlier, link the width and height parameters to the background node. Select the merge node. Move down the light rays output to align with the top of the view. Next thing is it lacks some variations, like sizes and dripping speeds. 
We can address this by creating two more instances of the fast noise node. And merge them together. Drag the last merge node into the viewer. Nothing changes, because these nodes are identical. Select the first instance. De-instance the center parameter. Double-click to reset the parameter. Modify it with a simple expression. Set the Y value to the main noise Y value multiplied by 0.85. De-instance the brightness. Modify with an expression. Lower the value by multiplying the brightness from the main noise node by 0.975. Also de-instance the seeth parameter. Modify with an expression to shift the noise map by 0.5. In the viewer, some smaller dots are generated randomly. Select the other noise instance. Similarly de-instance center parameter. Modify it with expression, this time multiply the y by 0.75. De-instance the brightness. Multiply original by 0.95. De-instance the seeth parameter. Shift the noise map by 1. Another set of smaller dots are showing up in the viewer. Play the clip. And we now have these random sized dots falling down at different speeds. Bring the final media output to the viewer and play. It seems a bit too much going on the screen. Select the first fast noise node. We can scale down the noise map to have less dripping lines. or reduce the brightness to make the dripping smaller. OK, this is how we create the continuous dripping effect using Fast Noise node. I have updated the effect template with the Fast Noise dripping pattern. You can download the updated version and play with it. In addition to the changes made with the dripping map, I also added more parameters to the inspector. You can now adjust all the raindrop patterns directly in the edit page. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.